What is a negotiable instrument? A negotiable instrument is a commercial document that meets the following requirements. One, it must be in writing, and that can be typed, it can be handwritten, it can be in any form of writing. But the document must be signed by the maker of the document or the drawer of the document. Within the document, there must be an unconditional promise to pay or an order for a third party to make a payment. Now, what does that mean? The unconditional portion means that the order to pay or the promise to pay cannot be conditioned upon some action or activity or some occurrence. For example, I could not condition the order to pay upon someone undertaking some activity other than simply presenting the instrument for payment. Okay, so an unconditional order for a third party to pay, such as where I hold a banking account or somebody who holds my money, I'm ordering for them to make a payment of this amount, or a promise that I, in the future, will make a payment. There must be a fixed amount of money, so there must be identified amount of currency within the instrument, and then the instrument must be payable on demand or payable on time. That is, the instrument must state that it can it will be paid upon presentment or demand for payment, or it will be paid upon presentment after a specified time period or after a specified date. So payment on time is, is valid for presentment and payment after that time. Payment on demand is at any point in time that the authorized person wishes to present it for payment, it will be paid. And then lastly, it needs to be payable to order or payable uh, to bearer. Payable to order means it is payable to a specified person or individual who is named in the instrument. Payable to bearer means payable to someone who holds the instrument, not a specified person, just simply a holder of the instrument who can present it for payment. Now, if all of these factors are present, that commercial instrument is negotiable, really meaning that it can be easily traded, transferred, or negotiated to others under the law, and it does not affect the legality or legal efficiency, effectiveness of the instrument. There are numerous types of negotiable instrument. Some of the most common known, the first, an order to pay, would be an example of a draft or a check. A check is a very specialized type of order to pay. Or a promise to pay, which is something like a promissory note, a certificate of deposit, or any form of IOU, once again, could be a promise to pay. So all of these fall within the categories of different types of negotiable instrument. 